quite essentially discussing the future of our generations. Space has become one of major issues to create employment and to create wealth to our societies. In this program that we have discussed at the council level, and I hope to be approved with the parliament in the coming weeks, is particularly important not only to bring to, to, together different programs like the Copernicus or, or, the, or the Galileo, but essentially oriented to stimulate competitiveness all over um, um, Europe, to democratize the access to space and to foster the development of new ideas, new entrepreneurial projects, and essentially to promote um, new um, and small companies throughout um, Europe, particularly, particularly for Earth observation issues. And this is what we have been called by the new space and the, the opportunities that Europe has, essentially to, to provoke and to stimulate new employments for um, new markets, from maritime surveillance to urban development, biodiversity, to uh, many type of situations, for example, um, um, agriculture. The, in, the, the need to increase productivity mm. in our lands mm. can be further improved by using um, space technologies and detailed observation for um, satellites. And uh, do, how realistic do you think it is that the European Union is going to be able to compete with countries like China, which have seen uh, a number of um, success stories recently, uh, the US, Russia, for example? That is always the question that we, fool, we should face because global competitiveness is increasing in this area. And Europe is a large player, but needs to act collectively. And we need to bring together the, the, the Commission, the Member States, and the traditional, but also raise awareness within new um, entrepreneurs and essentially promoting the, the idea that space creates employment. And let me tell you what we have been doing in Portugal very uh, telegraphically. We create a new space law to promote new entrepreneurial situations. We launch um, a new program, uh, the Atlantic International Satellite Launch Program, in order to facilitate um, the development of a small spaceport in the Azores, in the middle of Atlantic, within the European um, continent. We launch a new space agency in close collaboration with the European uh, Space Agency, and we are developing a network of new business for Earth mm. observations, particularly through the Atlantic International Research Centre. And, and other a countries... Yes, please. Yeah. Ms. Hayter, um, uh, space exploration is, is famously very expensive and, and money is tight at the moment. How difficult uh, is it to justify redirecting EU budgets uh, to space exploration rather than, for instance, uh, technology and science exploration on the ground here on Earth that could have, for example, uh, medical benefits? Um, traditional space um, is expensive and do require and will continue to require um, funding. But we are speaking ab essentially about a new space opportunity because with the development of technologies and the miniaturization of technology, we can now um, put a satellite in a low orbit for less than uh, 25,000 euros per kilo in orbit. And that has decreased four times in the last 10 years, and it will decrease the cost per kilo in orbit in the coming uh, decade. 